I love that stay curious concept. Always looking for ways that you, your team, and your company can do better. I think that idea and that curiosity underpins all success. I use a, a simple framework that helps me focus that curiosity. It's called the four energies. I've noticed that there's four main areas in my life that directly and indirectly affect the way that I perform. They're mental, physical, emotional and relationships. By directing my curiosity through that framework, it helps me make sure that I leave no stone unturned. And it makes sure that I won't over-focus on one thing and then neglect others. One of the main performance aspects in the sport of professional big wave surfing is the ability to survive nasty wipeouts. They're an unavoidable part of the sport. The scariest part of a wipeout is called getting caught inside. Surviving this situation is all about being able to hold your breath for a long period of time. Let me show you what I mean by actually taking you through what it's like to get caught inside and how all of these four energies play a role in how well you hold your breath. Feel free to do this with me or not, it's up to you. Okay, imagine that you just wiped out on a huge wave and after being thrashed around underwater you finally fight your way back to the surface only to see another huge wave about to break on top of you. Okay, so take your hands, clasp them around your waist. Now, on the count of three, we're gonna take one deep breath before this wave breaks on top of us. Ready? Three, two, one. Take a deep breath. Imagine the wave crashing down on top of you, thrashing around like you're in a giant washing machine, driving you deep, deep underwater. Now let's explore how the four energies play a role in whether or not you're going to be able to hold your breath long enough to survive this situation. First, let's look at the mental aspect of how it affects performance. If you're holding your breath right now, you can start breathing. This may take a little while. Firstly, when you took your deep breath, did your lower stomach suck in? Or did your lower stomach expand when you took that breath? Everyone whose stomach sucked in when you took a breath, you took a chest breath. That's a panicked response. It means that you only filled your lung capacity to 50%. All of those of you whose stomach expanded when you took a breath, this is a diaphragmatic breath. This means you filled your lungs 100% to capacity. So the mental knowledge and understanding of the correct way to take a diaphragmatic breath is unbelievably important. Not knowing the proper technique of how to do something just cut your performance and breath hold in half. What about the physical aspect? What's your cardiovascular fitness like at the moment? What about your overall health? Maybe you've got a cold or a lingering flu. How about your, your hydration? All these different components radically affect your ability to hold your breath. So the mental aspect, the knowledge is important. How physically fit and healthy and well rested you are is important. Now let's look at the emotional. After a certain amount of time underwater, your survival depends on emotional resilience. You must not panic. This emotional resilience can only be developed through knowledge and experience. See, at about one third of your breath hold capacity, your lungs start to burn and you feel a terrible pain in your chest. If you panic when you feel this pain in your chest, your heart rate will elevate quickly and you'll burn up the remainder of your oxygen. The only way to override this panic response is to recondition it by simulating the experience over and over again, teaching yourself to embrace the pain you're feeling, let go of the fear and stay relaxed. Having the knowledge of what is going on inside your body is really helpful here as well. The pain in your chest is not due to a lack of oxygen. It's actually due to CO2 buildup. Having this knowledge helps you take a little bit more comfort that you can push beyond that pain that you're feeling and get to a part where you can hold your breath that much longer. So we've done the mental, we've done the physical, and we've done emotional. Let's have a look at relationships. The final critical factor is how well you trust your water safety team. 
Did you do that extra preparation with them to get them to a position where you're comfortable that if you do black out, they will be able to rescue you and resuscitate you? Having that confidence and trust in your team is, is crucial to help you relax in those really scary moments. So as you can see, taking the time to prepare across all the different four areas of your life really does help every aspect of performance. What could you do mentally, physically, emotionally, and in your relationships to enhance your performance as leaders, both at work and in your personal life?